Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting episode of NAWA Championship Wrestling. We are once again here at the Strawberry Festival Wrestling for a Reason, excuse me there, brought to you by American Heated, American Air, Heated and Cooling. We're down in the ring. We got action with John Schuyler, who just got tossed from the ring by the Carolina Dreamer. John Schuyler, is, he don't know what to think here as the fans call him a loser. You hear him chatting him, chatting loser at him, but he's on the ground trying to, re trying to regather himself here after being just tossed from inside the square circle out to the outside. Schuyler is obsessed with these fans. Dreamer trying to get the people here in Fort Mill, South Carolina behind him as this match has just started off. What a way to kick off NAWA Championship Wrestling. I am your host, Michael Elliott. And then once again, we want to thank Chad Adams and Vicki Adams of American Air, Heating and Cooling for having us here at Wrestling for a reason. Our official Dean Archer in the ring, trying to keep control here between Carolina Dreamer and John Schuyler. Shoots him into the big corner there, takes that arm. This Dreamer, he's got it cinched on. Oh, look at it, has got a handful of air official telling him he's got to let it go. And now just taking advantage of it is John Schuyler, the Impact Wrestling superstar. As you've seen a, a multitude of various wrestlers over the last several weeks on the show. Look at the athleticism, holy Christ of Carolina Dreamer. And he just took John Schuyler to the floor. I've never seen a man the size of Dreamer move like that. I don't think John Schuyler has either. He's calling a timeout as he's on the outside now. Trying to regather himself once again. You know, Schuyler definitely doesn't have the size advantage. Maybe he doesn't have the athletic advantage in this matchup after seeing Dreamer showing off his athleticism there. Just taking him by the head and throw him to the floor with his feet. Almost kind of a head scissors. Wait a minute, he just threatened to come out there and beat up a kid. What a man John Schuyler is. He wants to beat the fans up. He needs to be worried about beating the man in the ring here. The Carolina Dreamer, no, just a big knee to the midsection there. And again, as Schuyler is gonna do whatever he wants, he's realized now he's gonna have to play dirty to take advantage of this match, get the control. Here he goes, big splash, nobody at home. Oh, field goal kick, another one right there to the midsection, three times, and Schuyler, that was good for an extra point there. Three points, one point eight. I'm, I'm, this isn't football, ladies and gentlemen, this is pro wrestling. As Schuyler just rode the bull known as the top rope, and he's feeling that, ladies and gentlemen. And Carolina Dreamer has just pretty much dominated this match from the get-go. He's got Schuyler reeling here. He's waiting on him to get back up. Maybe Dreamer should stay on top of him here. Big right hand. This guy's got to be six foot four, 275 pounds of solid muscle. But he, oh, solid muscle or not, when you meet somebody's boots into your chin, you're going to go down. And look at Schuyler. He's just raining blows down, right fist into the face. Oh, John Schuyler wants to know who the man is. Well, right now, John Schuyler is the man. But Dreamer fighting back here. And fighting up off the mat with some shots to the midsection. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for joining us here this week on the NAWA Championship Wrestling each and every Saturday at noon as Schuyler just took Dreamer down right there with that back elbow. And now he's got him in that rear chin lock. But thank you for joining us. Like I said, each and every Saturday right here at noon on our YouTube channel, the Carolina Wrestling Historic Archives. You can catch us each and every week. We are 230 plus weeks in a row, the longest running episodic television show on the, in the Carolinas online. And you see Schuyler trying to keep Carolina Dreamer grounded here, but he gets up to his feet. He's back up to a vertical base, but Schuyler just with a clubbing blow right across the back and neck area, the shoulders, taking Dreamer right back down to the mat. He's smartly trying to just wear Dreamer down now. Look at it, oh, right back to the midsection with the headbutt. 
and he's telling our official Dean Archer to ask Dreamer if he's ready to quit, if he's going to give up here. And I don't think John Schuyler realizes it's going to take much more to put Carolina Dreamer away here. Big, big European uppercut there, and now just going right to work on that midsection stomach area of Carolina Dreamer here. Uh, wrestling for a reason. Skyler really needs to turn his attention and his focus back to what's going on inside the ring. He's just methodically trying to take apart Dreamer here as he snapmares him over and he's going up to the middle rope here. What Skyler got in store for the Carolina Dreamer right now? He needs to stay focused here. He is really paying attention to this crowd and he eats a boot for the distraction, taking his time, eating that boot, eating the soul of those size 13s from Carolina Dreamer. And Schuyler is down and you see Dreamer, he's trying to get the people back here behind him. Here at wrestling for a reason. Big right hand delivered there. Shoots him off up, reversed by Schuyler. Ducks the clothesline there. All double clothesline, holy Christ. Both men go down. Both men are down on the canvas now. Our official Dean Archer implementing a 10 count. He's up to three. Both men are still down. Up to the count of five. Both men tussling around on the mat, wrestling around, getting back up there, up to their feet. Big block and another right hand. Caroline Dreamer's got a mean right hand here today on the program, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. He's mounting him up. And he's going to deliver the blows. Continuously dropping them right hands onto the head of Schuyler. And down comes Dreamer. And again, he's the fan favorite here. Carolina Dreamer. Well, wait a minute. Sweeps the legs, pins it, puts his feet. He's got his feet on the second rope. Well, our official, Dean Archer's pointing it out. He sees it. He's telling Schuyler he's got to break that pinfall attempt. He tried to sneak one out here. He tried to sneak one out over on the Dreamer by putting his feet on the middle ropes and that pinning the tip. Oh, and our official Dean Archer getting pushed by Schuyler. And here we go. He's got him up for a big pump handle slam. Holy Christ, drops him right down. Two, three. And our official Dean Archer about got involved in the action again. After last week having that Leland Chapman of Dog the Bounty Hunter come to his rescue, but Carolina Dreamer with that pump handle slam pulls out the win here on NAWA Championship Wrestling. Cheatham, you sold my mama an outdated, overpriced piece of junk, heating and air conditioning unit, and now you're gonna pay. Now listen here, Ricky. It was only $15,000. She'll probably have it paid off by the time you retire from wrestling. <laughs> You're in my house now, Cheatham. It's rock and roll time. For service you can trust, call the American Air Heating and Cooling. You'll be glad that you did. I hope you've had enough, Ricky. But I only got a few more rounds left in me. Cheatham, you're not gonna get away with selling my mama that piece of junk heating and air conditioning unit. So we can do this the hard way, or we can do this the easy way. <laughs> Well, I guess it's going to be the hard way. For service you can trust, call the American Air Heating and Cooling. You'll be glad that you did. Hey, hey, the upstairs said I was hot. Come on in here speaking of hot. Let me talk to you. Oh, baby, I love you like a stepchild. I'm glad you're here, baby. You know why? Because... I'm going to get me some new teeth, and I tell you what, I'm going to be biting people left and right. And I'm going to tell you what, tell me what you've been doing, Frost Daddy. I've just been looking up to you, Chief. You know, you're my role model. Everybody out there, you want to grow up to be just like this man. I'll tell you what, the Freak Daddy and the Chief, we're here. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready to bust some heads, Chief. I'm telling you right now, you my favorite wrestler, but you know it's always been my dream to beat my favorite wrestler. Beat me? Yeah, just wait, look at here. One, two, three, I get my hand raised, we drink a cup of coffee, smoke the peace pipe, and talk to people about what we gonna do. 
First of all, I don't smoke. Second of all, I've always heard it's out with the old and in with the new. I didn't so, hear that, did I? I? I hey. That's what we cool kids, that's what we say these days. Oh man, talk to the hand. Talk to the hand, cause the ears ain't listening. Let me tell you something. Everybody, this is your guy. Have a great day, Chief. Hey, wait a minute, what's that I see over there? I see a fat woman. Hey, I could probably rich you out to hold some trailers down in a tornado. Come on in here. Talk to y'all later. Music's calling. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what in the hell we just watched uh, or what the hell that was all about with uh, Chief J Eagle and AJ Frost here on an episode of the Eagle's Nest. I hope we don't have many more of those in the in our near future, but we're back now here at Wrestle for a Reason, brought to you by American Air Heating and Cooling. As we got tag team action down in the ring, as we've got a wall, and they're taking on the Catman, Dalton Dallas, and TJ Boss here in tag team action. And we've got a wall. I'm gonna say number one. They're hard to. They're very hard to tell apart. Very hard to distinguish which one is which. They're like identical twins almost. Very, very hard to, to, to distinguish number one between number two. But Catman, look at that sticking the tongue out of these kids here at the Strawberry Festival here. It's a great event each and every year, wrestling for a reason, raising money for a great cause. And uh, brought to you by Chad Adams and Vicki Adams. And it's, it's an amazing event. And we're just honored to be here once again. And look at this. What the hell is Catman doing? He's got him by the arm. Catman is still on a roll. As we saw just a few weeks ago, Catman defeated TJ Boston. Now they mended their ways and they're tag teaming up here against AWOL. Everybody dislikes AWOL. As we've seen Catman now and TJ Boss on the show, we've seen AWOL. Now they're going to, they're tangling up here and the big man on campus is in the ring now and he's going right to work on that arm. Well, I'm going to again say AWOL number one. TJ Boss, he could very well break that arm if he just, if he chose to do so. The people here in Fort Mill want him to break it. Oh, but uh, you can't break the arm if you can't see if you if you've been raked in the eyes again. I say it all the time. There is no good defense for a rake to the eyes. And then comes a wall number two. And he's going right to work on that midsection of TJ Boss. He's got him by the beard. He just tosses him halfway across the ring. Holy Christ, I never imagined to see TJ Boss manhandled like that by anyone. I've never seen it until today. AWOL number two just grabbed him by the hair on his chinny chin chin and threw him halfway across this 18 foot squared circle. He went right back there just yanking on it again. Just a big club and blow. This is a big man. This is AWOL number two and he's just beating up TJ Boss, holy bit. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. He done, he done done it wrong. Whoa, TJ Boss is not happy about being slapped across the chest. And now he gives one right back to AWOL number two, and he goes down to the floor. And ladies and gentlemen, you got to pay attention to these AWOL guys here. When they get out on the ground, they start switching in and out without tagging in, and you don't really know which one went out and which one came back in. Our official John Harkey is going to have to do everything he can to make sure things are only up and up here as Catman, TJ Boss look on. And again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure if we've got AWOL 2 back in there, if number one's in, and we've got one member of AWOL and Catman, Dalton Dallas being tagged back in. Oh, and a big kick to the midsection. Big thrust right into the throat. And I'm gonna say that's AWOL number one. I think they switched out. Look, he's got something in that, that pocket of his jacket, his vest there. And he's going right to work. Big shot from whatever that object is, that foreign object. They have all these pockets on these vests and these cargo pants to move that up foreign object around. It's hard for the official to catch him in, in the act. Look, here we go, switching in and out, trading off that foreign object. Low looks like a chain, and they're just choking the cat. They're not choking the chicken, they're choking the cat here. The cat man is being choked behind the back of our official John Harkey. 
and he smartly passed it right back off to the other member on the on the apron and Catman has really taken some punishment here as AWOL is looking dominant they're definitely the tag team with the most experience years of teaming together ball oh, and it's that massive clothesline as the Catman goes down the cat is running out of lives they say cats have nine lives but he's probably used six or seven of them over the last several weeks here at the strawberry festival and AWOL taking him into the corner he is in no man's land as look at this he's a our official John Arkey is being distracted and now just being choked by that chain the cat is being choked to get TJ Ball's coming in he's had enough but our official John Harkey cuts him off and says you got to get on the apron you are not the legal man and TJ Boss causing a distraction the distraction that AWOL wants to throw some punches right into the throat and Catman is getting the crap beat out of him here in this tag team match AWOL doing whatever they want here showing off that tag team expertise <laughs> there's another poke in the eye Catman cannot see out one eye now as he's going to walk right in there looks like a big right hand waiting for him he's in the wrong corner oh and look here AWOL number two's got him in that big clothesline Catman is in trouble he's got to make the tag to TJ Balls he's got to make the tag to his partner he's got to do something to get AWOL off his back and here we go big body slam look at that just ease that AWOL takes takes the Catman up. Catman is no small man, but nobody home for the leg drop. This is the opening. Dalton Dallas knees. This is the chance Catman has been waiting for. He's got to tag in TJ Boss here. He's got to get to his corner. He makes the tag. Both men tagged in. Ducks a clothesline. Big right hands from TJ Boss to both members of AWOL. And hello! Now meet your neighbor head first. TJ Boss cleaning house here as he's taking care of AWOL by himself. Oh, big man with a big avalanche splash there. And again, just both members of AWOL being handled by big man TJ Boss. Look here. He's got him set up going for a double DDT, but AWOL fighting out of it. And they go to shoot him off the ropes. Ducks the clothesline. Big double clothesline flying through the air like a, a swan was TJ Boss taking both members of AWOL off of their feet. And now TJ Boss is just taking care of business. Catman nowhere to be found. He took a pretty good beating in this matchup, but into the corner goes Boss. Nobody home for AWOL. Big kick. AWOL is just getting manhandled here by TJ Boss. Two. Three and TJ Boss. I don't want to take anything away from Dalton Dallas, but TJ Boss pretty much just took care of business here at the end of this matchup. But there's your winners, ladies and gentlemen. The big man on campus, TJ Boss, and the cat man, Dalton Dallas, taking care of business here today against AWOL. What a tag team match that was, ladies and gentlemen, here on NAWA Championship Wrestling. Cheatham, when you sold my mama that piece of junk heating an air unit, not only did you make me mad, but you also made my brother Robert mad. Well, listen here, boys. This ain't no fair fight. What you gonna do, Cheatham? <laughs> Call your mama? <laughs> <laughs> Come on out, mama! <laughs> For service that you can trust, Call American Air Heating and Cooling. You'll be glad that you did. Stop, stop, mama, stop, mama, stop. You boys gonna leave my little angel alone? Mama, you don't understand. Cheatham sold my mama an overpriced piece of junk heating air unit. Say what? It's true, mama. Here, she would tell you herself. Oh, Cheatham, mama needs to have a little word with you. For service that you can trust, Call American Air Heating and Cooling. You'll be glad that you did. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's main event time this week right here on NAWA Championship Wrestling. We've had a tremendous episode so far. Great tag team action. Great way to kick off the show with 
Singles action from Carolina Dreamer and John Schuyler. And now we're down into the ring as we've got Kerry Morton taking on Elliot Russell of the Heat Seekers in one-on-one -on -one competition. This is your main event, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for sticking with us through that commercial break. And I'm going to plug it once again. We are here wrestling for a reason. Brought to you by American Air Heating and Cooling. If you got any heating or air issues, give them a call. Give Chad Adams and Vicki Adams a call. They'll take real good care of you here. But, oh, Elliot Russell with a big shoulder tackle taking the future legend, Kerry Morton, off his feet. Look at this, this clown doing jumping jacks in the middle of the match. Last week, he wasn't, he wasn't having that kind of fun. Last week when Leland Chapman from Dog the Bounty Hunter clotheslined him after picking on the, our official Dean Archer. Maybe Dean and Elliot can get along this week here in the main event this time, but we've got the son of Ricky Morton, the rock, half of the Rock and Roll Express. Kerry Morton, the future legend, third generation superstar in the ring, taking on Elliot Russell, the bigger man. That's the second time he's just kicking up dirt on him. Uh, Jumps up and over. Big leapfrog there. Kerry Morton delivers a hip toss there now. And I'll see Russell throwing up fingers and showing off now. He's he's in trouble now with Kerry Morton. He's got him in that armor for that beautiful arm drag. Elliot Russell may have been taking this as a little bit of a joke. Maybe he wasn't taking Kerry Morton too serious here. But now he is on the mat. Kerry Morton got control. Backing him up into that corner. Elliot Russell now, oh, with a cheap shot. Denton break that hole cleanly. Took that boot and put it right into the midsection of Kerry Morton. Now there's a big back elbow right across the face. Elliot Russell is a dirty, mean player, and he will do whatever it takes to win a match. But look at that, another beautiful arm drag from the third generation star. Up and comer, Kerry Morton, as he just Put it on him, and he's got Elliot Russell down now. Here we go, getting up, up onto the. Elliot Russell shoots him off, ducks the clothesline. Oh, Ghostful got him in a big head scissors, flips him right over. Look at a kip up there from Kerry Morton. Big drop kick takes Russell out to the floor. Well, the grass, whatever you want to call him. Kerry Morton feeling it now, as Elliot Russell is down on the. He's down on the floor. He's caught, he's done. He's telling people to get out of his way. He's had enough. He's retreating back to the tent. He's done with this matchup. One one half of hey, he seekers there. He don't. He's done. And Kerry Morton, if he wants to continue this match, he's gonna have to come and get him. He's taking his wrist tape off. He's had enough. Where in the world is he going here? Finally, Kerry Morton. Says, no, no, uh-uh, it's time to come back. He's got him by the hair. He's taking him back down to the ring, right through all these people here at the Strawberry Festival, and throws him back into the ring. We've got the action back here now in the main event, back down here in the ring. Elliot Russell, was he was done with this match. He, he was brought back, but now he's back in control with that headbutt. As he's got up, Kerry Morton, he shoots him off. Off comes Kerry Moore, but he eats that knee, that running knee lift right to the jaw. That almost could con concuss a man as he just took him down. He should go for a pin attempt, but he's just dropping down their right hands right onto the head of Kerry Morton. Our officials getting in there saying he's got to clean this up. Dean Archer doing his best. I know uh, you got to wonder the, if there's Dean's walking on eggshells around Elliot Russell after what happened last week, but Kerry Morton up and fighting here. Fighting back and a big elbow right across the neck. You can see Kerry Morton struggling. You're not even sure if the lights are on anymore after that running knee lift and that elbow across the back of the head. Here we go. Big leg drop right across the throat. Russell going for the pin and comp pin and attempt here. Only gets a two count. Kerry Morton trying to get these people here at the festival behind him, wrestling for a reason. As he's fighting back up off the canvas, he's got to get back up to his feet, and he does. But a big boot cuts him right back off, shoots him in, and go, oh, a sleeper hold. He's got him in a sleeper. Will Kerry Morton be saying night-night? Will he be going to bed here in just a second? Elliot Russell's got it cinched in pretty good. Kerry Morton looks to be fading out here. He's went down to double knees. 
Elliot Russell putting his weight on him. Oh, Lord, he's got him down all the way. That sleeper old. Kerry Morton still had the wits to put himself back up into a seated position. Is it going to be enough? Is he still fading away? Has he got that, has he got that forearm right across the throat? It's going to cut off the blood, blood flow to the head, but not enough. Oh, but he takes him right back down off his feet. Elliot Russell could feel the hold. He could feel the sleeper hold slipping away, so he grabbed a handful of air and slung Kerry Morton down on the mat, using every tool in his tool bag to stay on top here. Is Elliot Russell now he's just delivering some big left hands. He's rocking Kerry Morton. He's rolling one up. Nobody there. Morton with a big elbow himself. Both men go down. You can still see Kerry Morton kind of doesn't know exactly where he's at. He's still kind of in a, in a fog from that sleeper, but he's back up to his feet and he's just going to fight. Both men just trading forearm blows right here in the center of the ring. Morton getting the better of the at the two. Rock reversal from Russell. Big flying forearm. Holy Christ, Kerry Morton is fired up now. And as he's punching, he's punching this goof. This, oh, wait a minute. Look at that combination of punches and kicks, swing and neck breaker from Kerry Morton. He's got to go for the cover, couldn't get him. Russell crawling away. Both men back up on their feet here. What a main event, what kind of action this is here. Up, throws him over the top rope to the apron. It's him with a shoulder up and over. Look at the athleticism from Kerry Morton. A little wobbly still from that sleeper. Gets him up in the fireman's carry. What does Kerry Morton have in store for him here? Rolls through. Putting all of his weight into the midsection of Elliot Russell, Kerry Morton. He's, what's he gonna do now? He's got to stay on top of this guy. He's got him down on the mat. He's got to stay on top of him here. And Elliot Russell turns right around, Go, goes for that, that diamond cutter type move, that RKO type move. But Elliot Russell's got him double underhook reversal. Goes for it, oh, he hits it. Holy Christ, that could be it. One. Two, three, and Kerry Morgan picks up the win here against Elliot Russell in your main event. What a great way to end this show. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? We got George South, John Schuyler, Zane Riley in the ring, and they're beating up Kerry Morton. What the hell is going on here? What the hell is happening here at the end of this show, ladies and gentlemen? What in the hell? They've got him up. They're shooting him in a row, big double elbow, and here comes the father of Kerry Morton, Ricky Morton, one half of the Rock and Rolls. He's got a chair, and he's cleared house. He's clean house, ladies and gentlemen. Ricky Morton coming out to save his son. There's Al Snow also on the outside of the ring, along with Robert Gibson. They're out here as well. The, the numbers game has evened out. After a four-on-one attack, Kerry Morton, well, George South's about to run his mouth.
Listen. Yeah, we got. This ain't nothing to do with you. This ain't nothing to do with you. This ain't nothing to do with you or him. against George South's team in an eight-man tag team match. That's going to be coming up right here on NAWA Championship Wrestling. And it might be next week, a couple weeks. That match is coming, eight-man tag team action. George South's team versus Ricky Morton's team coming here soon. Make sure you join us next week at Saturday at noon for NAWA Championship Wrestling. That's all the time we got this week. We'll see you right here next week. So long for now.